So video socials is a safe place to practice and experiment. And what we're talking about when we say that is what you're going to be delivering, the style in which you're going to be delivering it, et cetera. Not necessarily the equipment that you're using and your lighting, et cetera. Hi, I'm Mark Bullock, the co-founder of videosocials.net and phoneblogger.net. And I want to show you some Zoom settings. So I'm not going to show you on screen because I want you to pause the video and open a Zoom session. Once you've done that, either next to the mute button or next to the stop video button, you want to open, there's a little up arrow, you want to open either audio or video settings. And the reason why it doesn't make any difference which one that you pick, it's because all of once the settings menu is open, I want you to see that there's a general, a video, an audio, a screen share, et cetera, down the left-hand side. So let's use audio as an example. So you select audio on the left-hand side, and you'll see that there is the first line, which is the thing that most people don't even realize is there to test the speaker. But right next to that, there's a drop down for the speaker. So if you've changed something, if you're changing, you're doing different speakers, as an example, use that drop down and make sure that Zoom has the right one selected, because lots of times you'll be trying to present and, and you're not understanding why something's not working. Well, the, the, the wrong device might be connected. So not only is that setting here, it's also for the microphone, which is the more likely one that you might run into. So maybe use earbuds sometimes, maybe use your device micro microphone sometimes, maybe you have a lapel mic, maybe you have a studio mic. Basically, if you have all of them connected, all of them are gonna be in that list, but only one of them is going to be used by Zoom. So you need to make sure that it's the right one. And then you have the test mic right next to it to see that that is it. Now, while we're here on the left-hand side, look at video. If you click on your video, you'll notice the first section under your image is the camera. And again, that's a dropdown. If you have, let's say a, you're using a laptop that has a camera, but you also have a, um, a separate camera, or maybe you've got a nice camera that you're, that, you're, that you're trying to try out, that's where you need to select which camera that Zoom is using. Now, the last thing that I want to let you know, you can't see, and that is anytime Zoom updates, it may go back to default settings. So when we're talking about turning off your auto adjust volume, auto adjust volume and you know you did that, and then you come back next week and all of a sudden it's back on again, how did that happen? Well, Zoom probably updated and or you ran an update on your computer that had Zoom reset itself. So be familiar with these settings and you can always open, just as I had you do, you can always open a Zoom session on your own and go into the settings and experiment there to make sure that you've got all of your stuff in alignment so that you're not wasting time in your next Zoom meeting or your next video socials meeting trying to handle just the basic logistics. Again, I hope you found this valuable. Again, I'm Mark Bullock, the co-founder of videosocials.net and a phone blogger.net. And there's lots more tips at videosocials.net forward slash academy. There'll be a link below. Have a great day.